Oh, that's been a difficult couple of weeks. Oh, I honestly thought we were going to lose our job. And I had a scout about trying to find jobs, applies for a few, but nobody's interested. Most of them said they'd never heard of me and weren't giving me a job, which is interesting, to say the least, because they were quite happy to offer me jobs in Malaysia and uh, Singapore and stuff before I got my first job. But now I've got my first job and I'm actually proven to be an OK manager, well, a pretty rubbish manager. They won't give me a job because they've never heard of me. So thankfully things have started to pick up. We've got two wins back to back, which I never thought I'd see again. And we're moving up and up, up the table. And we're only a point away from the playoff places, which I don't know how that happened. Anyway, let's get to the episode. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Chris here from Heed the Ball Gamer and welcome back to episode 8 of that Football Manager 2020 save where we try and copy Rudy Gutendorf. And who's Rudy Gutendorf? He's the Guinness Book of Records for managing the most clubs in a lifetime. 55 and we're on club 1. So and we're not doing overly well. It's, I forgot how frustrating football manager can be when things aren't going your way. We just go to the schedule. Our well, last year it was a 1-0 defeat by Cabertilli, a last minute penalty. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Drogdia beat us 2-0. Then Longford joined the party and beat us 2-0. Bray Wanderers beat us 3-1. Limerick, we pulled out an upset in the League Cup. They drew 2-2. Um, it was a it was a strange game and we won the penalty shoot quite comfortably and we went to Finn Harps and drew 3 3 just out of nowhere. Um decent group a really exciting game. I think both sides probably thought we could have won it. Then Limerick um beat us 2 3 completely against the run of play. Frustrating, we had a mixed bag against Limerick, so a bit frustrating. And then Galway we won, they, they won 2-0, they were bottom of the league at the time, and we were second bottom, and it closed the gap to only a point or two, so I was getting a bit worried. Then we played University College Dublin in the Cup, we had the Premier League side, and they beat us 1-0. It was a close game, I, I think we could have got something out of it, to be honest, we had the most chances. Then at Limerick, we won 1-0, Charlie Lyons getting the goal, and then went to Athlone Town and just won 4-0 out of nowhere. Completely ridiculous, and if we just go to the competitions, as you can see we're 7 for 1 point away from 4th for the playoffs, but we're only 10 points off the bottom, so we play Wexford today, and I think if we beat Wexford, I think that gives us a comfortable um, cushion between now, because there's only another 13 games after this, well, this is the midway point, so we're going for this 4-3-3, uh, 4, three, three, four 5-1, whatever way you want to think about it. It's not been overly successful in the league, but I think against the bottom side, we should be able to get a result because it creates so many chances. So we're going for Malloyd, Fleming, McSweeney, Lyons, Abulu, and then Coogan, Lamb, Ashton, and then Turner, Chindia, and Bogdanovic. I've moved over my... My, my computer's been really, really noisy recently, so I've moved over my whole setup to the other side, but I just realised the arm for the... Uh, mic is in my way so I'm having to reach over it to, to get to the mouse and the keyboard so it's not overly handy um, going to impress me, I have faith it's always a good one I have faith it. all the ever yeah, we just like faith yeah, I don't, I don't know what you feel about downloaded tactics um, I found a really good one, I think I trialled in a few in an offline save and it's really good so I'm tempted to use it. I think it'd be really good for this side, the Bulu, and Turner misses the header. I just think we need to get a decent start on this save, you know what I mean, and when we get to better clubs we'll be able to use better tactics, I'll be able to use my own tactics but I think we're going to get sacked pretty soon if well, or just be stuck at Cove Rambo as the rest of our career and Bogdanovic scores just after me saying that but you know we're just going to be in a purgatory of 
mid tableness in the Irish <laughs> first division for the next ten years. The worrying thing is I haven't got a plan. I haven't planned this club out long term because I wasn't expected to be here long term. So Coogan, Kindia, Turner. McDonough was what's the chance? Was that the chance? A bully. Strange cross. I think McSweeney picks it up. Look at him, he's running. Oh, he's a big awkward guy. And he's running, look at him, he's Coogan. Ashton. Coogan, back to McSweeney. McSweeney's really involved in this build-up play. Chindia, don't shoot from there, mate. And Turner, with a header, he makes an amends for that last header. And Ian Turner scores. As you can see, I've got the pictures now. We can see what these guys look like. I'll, I'll probably need to turn up the settings to 125% because I am getting old, but I haven't needed to yet because I've got a big... Monitor, I've got a 32 inch monitor in the summer there just in pre preparation for Football Manager 2020 coming out so I can see everything a lot better and a lot clearer and I've got a second monitor here as well now, my old one but it's not working at the moment so <laughs> so hopefully I'll get another one it's on my, on my Santa list so um, happy where you're going Yeah, so we're we going for three in a row. Got a lot of reds there. Let's praise them because they're looking uninterested. Over the top. Jandia, oh, it's just bounced all over the place and it's offside. Jandia definitely wasn't offside. That well, wasn't offside. One of the guys was offside, but he didn't touch it. Dropped down a sixth position, even though we're winning 2 0. Malloyd, oh, Connor Sutton getting his first goal of the season. We seem to get a lot of players getting their first goal of the season against us. We don't want to see that again. Yeah, it's got some awful ratings, and they're just 16 shots, three on target. Well, they don't deserve anything from this match. I'd be really frustrated if we get it and this is what this season's been, it's been really frustrating. We started off really well last season. <sighs> Sutton. Really? Oh, what a save by Malloyd. I thought that was it. We've had a couple of good chances. Now let's make a sub. But Danovic's playing reasonably well, so... Who's not playing well? Coogan's not playing very well. Is it something you can't really level him? Well, you can. He's plays terrible every game. <laughs> um, Bull is struggling as well. So is McSweeney. McSweeney's been involved in everything. I don't understand how he's had such a poor rating. This is their chance in it. Oh. Sutton's involved in everything. Power. Coombs to Gall and Lam away to Ashton we'll on own West Brom man to Bogdanovic he's not going to shoot from there is he he just crosses it to their player back to McSweeney who should be off by now Jindia Ashton Abulu to Turner and he heads it in Yes! Come on, son! That is. And Abulu <laughs> with the cross. Eric Abulu, the Tasmania Berlin legend, provides it on a plate for Turner. Are we on for three in a row? This would be amazing if we are. I wonder if we've actually won three in a row since we've got here. I'm 
we're going to talk to you soon for long. Oh, Save by my Lloyd. And Sutton's coming off. I'm glad to see the back of him. Coombs with a corner. And Turner with a cross. And Badanovic gets four. And to be fair, it should have been five. So we shouldn't really be celebrating that. Look at this, he looks like a sal. I don't know what O'Connor's doing there, to be honest. That's it, he's, he's diving, he just completely misses it. And goal for Hoof 1 to English. Oh, and a good save for Malloyd. They've had chances, to be honest. Too many chances for my liking. But we've won three in a row. Team talk. That was a good win. Well done. And I think I might be here next season again. So we're going to have to start making plans on who we're going to sign up and stuff and try and get the wage budget a bit more under. It's not bad at the moment. We're only about, about £100 over the wage budget, but... We need to get rid of more of these players and bring more of the young guys in. And I think every time we do that, we're going to be slightly worse. But at least we're touching distance. We're touching distance to Limerick. We're touching distance. Bray Wanderers are only five points ahead of us now after three wins in a row. So if we get another win, we could be right up there in the in the playoffs. But absolutely brilliant. Ian Turner, praise him. There we go. You good looking man, well done. Right, so who do we play next? Because we're coming back for that. Cabertili, who are just, just below us in the table, equal points. So this is a really important one, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so we're back for the Cabertili game. And yeah, we've mixed bag against them. 1-2, drawn 1, and they've won 1, so be interesting. Just when I was talking about that tactic, I'll just show you, I've just set it up just now. This was the tactic I was talking about. Um, I'm not convinced it's going to work again with these little teams here, but I just wanted to trial it out. Uh, we're going to be Malloyd, Fleming, Rordan, Sullivan, Abulu. So it's a tiki taka um, formation. And it is, it's, it's a bit of passing. I, I don't see it working with a non league side, but well, a lower league side. They basically are a non league side, they're not very good. Rourke, Coogan, Ashton, Chindia, Leonard, and Bogdanovic. And we're just going to go for it. I just want to see what this tactic does. That's, the other tactic's been reasonably successful. And we're just going to see what it does. Oh, I've let the assistant manager do the team talk. That was a bit risky. But Ashton, the, the assistant manager, he's um, he wants a way. He says he's not going to sign a new contract. He um, doesn't think that Cove Ramblers are a big enough team for him to work it. Despite the fact he's already working at Cove Ramblers. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And nobody's actually came in for him. So, yeah, it's one of these mad things that they do in football. Eh? Just leave a, a job because it's not quite good enough. But I was saying that I was talking about that as well. So. But, you know, I realised nobody was interested in me, so we stayed. Oh, another yellow, yellow card. I thought it was a second yellow card for Jack Watson. Coogan. Oh. Yeah, never, these guys are never going to get a free kick on target. We've controlled things. Three shots. 65% possession. You know what that's going to mean. They're going to run up the other end and, and score. Connolly. Goal kick. Abulu to oh Abulu hooks it away again Leonard's going to get the ball this time he's not got a lot of space back to Fleming over the top to Ashton one on West Brom man straight to the keeper right, let's demand more I think we're doing fairly well though in fact it could be aggrieved that I'm shouting demand more Fleming Coogan 
straight to a Sullivan, and not ours or Sullivan, or Sullivan to a Sullivan. <laughs> oh, what a tackle by Ashton. I'm just going to put it out there, I don't think Ashton's going to make it as a footballer, I think he's probably found his level with us, not West Brom. And Ashton with the goal, just to prove me wrong. Oh, and Ashton. <laughs> just because I'm criticising him there, saying he's not going to make it as a footballer, he, he goes and scores. And <laughs> you know, he, maybe Irish Premier League. Scottish Championship level. Third Division, England. We're in the playoff, boys. O'Rourke, we've been there before though, this season. We had a storm and start. It just shows you what a couple of wins can do. And Ashton again, he's everywhere. To Bogdanovic, a little dink. Leonard chases the ball. And that was in the highlight, isn't it? Bulu with his yellow card. Customary these days. And Kevin Knight gets yellow carded. Team talk, I think we're... Don't think the job's done. Let's go. I'm a little bit big, am I not? Bring me down a wee bit. Oh, and Chindia nearly. With the... Disallowed. He looks a little bit scary, Chindia. I don't know if I could want to meet him in the, a dark alleyway. Right, Donnelly with a free kick. Leonard he gets here. He's having a good game, Leonard, I think. Oh, he goes past him like he's not there and does well until the shot. Oh, I quite like this tactic because it play, lets him play with a bit more freedom. Whether he can get away with it or not, I don't know, but it makes sub because Arorden is dying. Matthew Lamb, come on on. Capertilli are going to be lambs to the slaughter. Sullivan with a cross. Oh, and he misses Manley. Did I make that sub? No, right. Chindia is injured. And Ian Turner is on. Dead ball specialist. Should really keep him on. He's got a fantastic penalty taken, corner kicking. Probably the best penalty taker in the league, to be honest. He's got like 15 penalty takers, 16 penalty taken, which is unheard of at this level. Abulu. Oh, he takes a shot. Wasn't renowned for scoring goals in the Tasmania Berlin save, but he's getting the old goals in this league. Lamb to Fleming to Rorden. Leonard. Coogan. There's Turner. What a one to Coogan. Oh, brutal. That could have broke his legs. Ref, come on. Rorden, is, how, he's still on the pitch. I subbed him about 20 minutes ago. Lovely by Leonard. <laughs> Until the shot, that is, that's ambitious. Five minutes extra time. Ah, oh, 1 0. So it did work. It's kind of a tactic like I wanted to try in anyway, so we're a point clear of Limerick now. Two points behind Bray Wanderers, but only four points behind Longford now, so that is, we are on the chase. Four wins back to back, unheard of. And we move into promotion contention. Finn Harps have sacked their manager. Are we favourites? Oh, 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 now. 
We are in contention for a job, but Finn Harps are in the same league as us, ninth position. We just got relegated though, so we should have decent players. It's the first job that we've been linked with. That is exciting. I think we're in a better off position than, than them, so we'll, we'll just keep this job, but you know, it means our reputation's getting that a little bit better, which means I believe probably the first job's either going to have to be in the UK, it's probably going to be another Irish job, and then we'll move on from there, so we need to make sure the next move's correct, and I don't think Finn Harp's in the position is. Anyway, we will see you next time, thank you so much for watching, bye bye.